because the bloody standards of your people are already being impacted by climate change. You've already told us that this evening. Do we all have to get used to that as well? I've just been sat here listening to a lot of this conversation and definitely living standards come down to your perspective and it's really subjective depending on your own reality. For us, the climate crisis, you are going to sit here and think about maybe your living standards need to change in the way that you uh, access transportation or the things that you can do at leisure, but for the Pacific and for frontline communities all over the world, living standard is a survival. It's like, how are we going to ensure that our islands are going to be here in the next 50 years? We can talk about setting targets for 2050 at net zero, which does not mean zero emissions, or for our people, we're preparing to move people, preparing for the reality that our islands may not even be here by the end of this century. And so, how can you talk about living standards when there are communities who are facing nowhere to live by the end of this century? And I think I might just Listen to like this. add one, like another layer to this conversation. Listen to it carefully. Is, is that we talk about this a lot from the perspective that we need to shift the fossil fuel industry. But one thing that I learned recently over my last few days here being here in Scotland is that there also is an understanding of what we are fighting for in a way that's parallel to us and that is climate justice is about self-determination, it's about agency, it's about our ability to decide what happens to our people and to our country. And I've learned this a lot of being in Glasgow over these last few days because I have felt the frustration of the people here about being the cop being held in here but there being no representation of uh, the Scottish people within that space. But also the understanding that uh, you have this real relationship with colonization, which is what we have, which is what we carry. And so climate justice isn't just about shifting the fossil fuel industry, it's about shifting these structures of oppression so that we can continue to build our lives in a way that makes sense to us, in a way that is determined to us, and I know the people of Scotland understand that. Thank you. Cheap, bro. Uh,